Hello everyone, this is The Ashogi Comics, where I talk about astronomy and space science through art. If you are interested in sci art and space comics, do check out my social media links from the description below. Before we start with this video on exploring the universe, do click on the red color subscribe button below to never miss out on any exciting spacey stuff from me. Till now in this series, we have talked about exoplanets, how they are discovered and some important discoveries that have been made. In this sixth video of the series, I am solely going to introduce you to some really strange and often extreme worlds that we have encountered as we search the cosmos for another Earth. So buckle up, this ride is going to be windy, hot, cold, filled with radiation and a rough one. The first planet we will visit is the 55 Cancer E, a world that is thought to have a diamond core. But before you rush here, do know that this world is so close to its star that the whole rocky surface is converted into lava. The silicates from the ash have formed clouds that sparkle like glitter over the lava covered world. Now what is the blackest thing that you can think of? Scientists say a body appears dark because it emits no radiation and absorbs or traps most of what is falling into it. The planet pressed to be is the darkest planet to be discovered. It is so dark and black we know nothing similar and scientists suspect that there is a new compound present responsible for this. Inside its cloudy atmosphere you might see some red glow due to the heat inside but from here it is all dark and probably evil. Talking about evil, nothing beats the three planets around the pulsar PSR B1257 plus 12 which were in fact the first exoplanets to be discovered in 1992. These planets, starting from the closest, are named Draugr, Poltergeist and Phobitor, after demons. And correctly so, since these worlds were not even thought to be possible to exist in the extremely radiation-filled environment around the pulsar. The magnetic field of a pulsar is enough to even rip your molecules apart. And how these planets survived the supernova that created the pulsar is a mystery. One theory says that they were formed after the formation of the pulsar from the remaining supernova dust. No, you will not turn into Hulk or Spider-Man over here. All this talking has made me hungry. That reminds me of an exoplanet named Wasp-12b, which is a gas giant so close to its star that the star's gravity has literally deformed it into an egg-shaped planet. The star is constantly eating up the material of the planet so fast that it is doomed to disappear in a hundred thousand to million years, a time too short in the astronomical scale. Due to the deformed shape, it also has one of the lowest density of all exoplanets discovered. Being too close to its star still doesn't make WASP-12 be the hottest planet of all. A title that is backed by the Kepler 70b planet, which is an ultra hot Jupiter like planet boasting surface temperatures of around 6800 degrees Celsius, which is even higher than the Sun. This planet even survived being inside its now dead star. In fact, it is still evaporating and will soon disappear forever. But none of these planets be the ballast planet. HD 203949b, which orbits so close to a red giant star that it should not even exist. The scientists figured out that at that distance, the planet would have been swollen up by the star as it turned into a red giant. But somehow, it survived that and came out a victor in a very close proximity orbit. Hear this again. This planet survived being swallowed by a star. Taking a slight turn from scary and deadly, let's talk about a planet out of science fiction. If you are a Star Wars fan, you would remember the planet Tatooine with its two stars or suns. We have in fact discovered a real example of the same. The planet Kepler-16b was the first to be found orbiting around a system of binary stars just 200 light years away. Most of the other planets we have talked about have been so hot. How about we travel someplace with cold winds, a windy planet. The windiest planet we have discovered is HD 189733b, where winds flow at a speed of 8700 km per hour. To add to that, 
The atmosphere of this blue planet has methane along with silicates. A more general term for silicates would be glass. This glass is blown along with the winds. Wow! An exoplanet named Hat P11b, discovered in 2009, was emitting weak radio signals. It was also found to have water vapor. Scientists found that the radio signals can be explained with lightning storms on the planet at a scale of astonishing 3,800,000 Saturnian lightning flashes per kilometer per hour. That is electrifying. The last planet I will mention to give you some hope is Kepler 186f, a planet in the habitable zone and measures almost the same as Earth. It might even have water. The catch? It is 500 light years away. After talking of all these weird worlds, I am going to explore the possibility of life being found in one of the many exoplanets we have discovered till date in the next video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the Astrogi Comics. Click on the bell icon to never miss a video. If you are interested in buying official The Astro Geek merchandise in or outside India, you can find links in the description below. Do comment your thoughts on this video and suggestions for future videos. I am eager to read them. Thank you for supporting this IR project. You are the best. Until next time, stay curious and keep looking up.